Welcome back, my little researchers. Today is our now time together. We are going to read a new text. Our text today is birds. Our learning target is to use text features to learn about what a bird is. I know that we've covered this in class, but it's been so long ago since you had that marvelous spring break that I wanted to bring it back into your mind before we moved on. Today, we're going to look closely at pages four and five, okay? I'm gonna open up our book. Oh, there's a picture of a bird. Here's our table of contents, okay? Our table of contents is going to tell us where we can find what we're looking for. We're looking for page four, okay? Page four says, what is a bird? Hmm. What do you think these two pages are going to tell us about? Remember, when a book is asking us a question, it's usually going to give us an answer to that question somewhere on the pages or within the book. So if this book is asking us, what is a bird, what do you think pages four and five are going to tell us? Right. They're going to tell us what a bird is. I know, you smart researchers, you already know what a bird is. But I want you to remember that during our time together today, researchers do lots of different things. So even though you think you already know about everything that you need to know, you're also going to ask more questions and closely observe. You're going to share and discuss ideas, gather evidence from text, Look for titles and headings. Study pictures, photographs, illustrations. Read captions. Record observations using drawings and labels. And find patterns in what you're reading. So now that we know about our heading, what actually is a heading? I know we said we were going to learn about text features today. But a heading is a group of words at the top of a page to tell you what those pages are about. You guys already knew that, though. This is our heading. It's telling us what these two pages are about, what a bird is. It's our text feature that we're going to focus on for today. What's a text feature? Oh, hmm. A text feature is part of the text that helps the reader understand what understand the text better, understand what they're reading better. So without this heading, we would have had to read all of these words to find out what exactly was on this page, on these pages. With that heading, now we know, oh, this is gonna tell us what a bird is. We can quickly look at a heading and say, that's what those pages are about. That's how it's going to help us understand the text better. Remember, an informational or nonfiction text has headings and those text features that we've talked about, okay? Because informational text and nonfiction text are giving us information, things that we didn't know, things that we need to learn about, okay? So this is our informational text on birds today. It says, what is a bird? Birds are really cool. They are the only animals that have feathers. Hmm. All of them have wings and most can fly. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to that sentence. It says, all of them have wings and most can fly. What does that mean? Right. It means that all birds have wings, but not all of them can fly. So just because I have wings doesn't mean I can fly. A bird has two feet and a beak. There's some small writing here again. Remember, that's called our caption. We saw that in our book, Just Ducks. Birds such as these green bee eaters like to sing to one another. So that's giving us a little bit more information on a specific bird. 
These birds are called green bee eaters. And they like to sing to one another. Here on page five, it says, all birds lay eggs. Most look after them until the eggs hatch into chicks. Hmm, there's another tricky sentence again. All birds lay eggs, but most look after them until they hatch. So that's telling us all birds don't look after their eggs. Some leave them to grow and develop or let whatever nature is going to have happen to them happen. Then there's this funny looking thing down here. Let's see what that is. Did you know that birds are related to dinosaurs? Some dinosaurs had feathers just like birds do. So now we know birds are related to dinosaurs. We've learned so much by just reading these two pages, okay? I wanna ask, as we were reading, what other text features did you find? I know we saw a caption, what else did you find? I saw lots of photographs. That's another text feature. And those smaller words that we call a caption. Those are all things that the author puts in the book to help us understand our text better. And our heading is our most important text feature because it tells us what the pages are about. We'll go over this book more as we continue to research. And we're also going to do some more independent work as we learn more about birds. Today, I'm going to post a picture of our green bee eater and you can draw me your best version. Remember to label the parts of the bird that all birds have. Remember all birds have wings, feathers, a beak, and uh, wings, feathers, a beak, and what else, guys? Wings, feathers, a beak, and feet. <laughs> you thought I didn't know. All birds have two feet. They need those feet. See them? How else are they going to land on those trees all the time? So label the parts of your green bee eater so that we know all the parts of it. You're not doing this in your research notebook yet. Tomorrow we will jump into that research notebook and you'll draw me a beautiful picture. I can't wait to see what you send me. Send me a picture on your portfolio. Talk to you soon.